All right, let's talk about driver's licenses. So if a police officer pulls you over, it's generally considered to be not a great idea to hand them your fully unlocked phone for a variety of reasons. Um, lots and lots of them, actually. Uh, so what, what would you do if I told you that it is now acceptable in Australia to just hand over your unlocked phone with a version of your driver's license on it? Well, I mean, you might say that, well, that's a terrible idea, but it sounds a little bit convenient. And the problem is it's so convenient that it's also convenient to forge them. So instead of needing to go and, you know, order from China the perfect fake ID, you can instead just go into your phone, modify a couple things, and instead change the details to whatever you want, and then present it to a police officer and it should look just fine. So um, this is obviously concerning because it means that you can fake a lot of information um, on a driver's license without any authentication. And at least on a physical driver's license, there's things built in. Like in the state of California ones, there's these little tiny pin pricks where if you hold it up to a light, you can see light shining through it. There's a black light thing on it where if it's not the right color, then you know, or if it doesn't react to the right wavelength, you know it's fake. Um, there's all these different protections built into modern driver's licenses. So the thought that you could go in and just modify some files on your phone and then pop up with a new driver's license would save a lot of kids some money, probably, honestly, and maybe bring the economy in um, Australia more local. But this definitely the... seems like a lot easier to forge than like a physical thing. Yeah, so if you have root access to a device, you can just go through and can just modify this as much as you want. But if you don't have root access to a device, then you can actually go through and you can change this in a backup file for your phone. So you can access the backup file for your phone, modify, and then restore, and boom, you've effectively <laughs> changed all the information on your digital driver's license. So uh, there's a video on doing this, if you wanna see on YouTube, and it's 10 minutes and 22 seconds. I'm not gonna play the whole thing, I'll just do it a double screen in the background while I talk. But uh, you can see that you sign up, you you do the Australia thing, you put your you put your stuff in. Oh, and guess what? This is protected. So don't worry, the encryption is secured by a four digit pin. Hey. Impenetrable. Uh, so the problem here is obviously the encryption is very, very weak. So you can go through and just brute force it because it's a four digit pin, very dumb. And on top of that, it's super easy to modify the data in order to change your driver's license information to virtually whatever it is you want. So on top of, uh, let's, let's go a little further here. Uh, on top of the issue where <clears throat> handing your phone to a police officer fully unlocked might not be a great idea, uh, it's also trivial to give them a completely fabricated piece of identification, provided you have a little bit of knowledge with how to get into the files and modify them. So pretty alarming demo because frankly, like it's getting, it seems like it's getting easier and easier to modify a driver's license and being able to change this in an official document as we see the end result here. Um, this is an edited version. Uh, oh, and that's, okay, that's an Australian state. I thought it was telling me it was not safe for work. <laughs> oh, yeah, NSW. I paused yeah. for a second. I was like, should I continue playing the video? I was like, nah, it's just Australia. <laughs> really cool to see uh, that this sort of thing can be broken into and modified so quickly to maybe convince people that this is just a bad idea to begin with and, and just shut it down early on. But looking at the way that this was secured, they didn't even, like this This service doesn't even pull to make sure that the data is verified after the initial sign up. So as soon as you sign up and put the information in there, then it, there's an option that lets you like update it, but it doesn't actually connect to anything. It updates like the time. It doesn't actually update any of the information in terms of checking to see if the modified ID is valid. So the, what's scary here again is like you can go through, you can modify this, and then the app has no way of detecting whether or not the modified ID actually lines up with what is in the real database. So um, this, first of all, this file shouldn't be modified at all by the user. So the fact the app lets you just go in and change it is, uh, or rather with a four digit pin, go in and change it is pretty astounding to me. But then the fact that it's never verified, um, is also pretty astounding to me. You can go in and have totally wrong data and then have this app have no idea. So yeah. if you're a teenager in Australia, things just got interesting.